Hey guys, Big HD here. Well, it's that time again, and let's continue with this Nintendo Direct. I'm hoping they make some kind of announcement with at least Metroid Prime 4, because we haven't heard much from it ever since it was revealed to be in development. But that had to be restarted. That was a mess. Though I have, um, I've been kind of hooked playing recent games like uh, Metroid, uh, not Metroid, uh, F-099, as a way to support the IP to see if maybe Nintendo someday could uh, at least revive the IP either give us F-Zero GX Remastered or give us a new game. Hoping for another Star Fox. I don't know if they'll be able to port Star Fox Zero because that game was kind of a mess in terms of, let's say, the controls. So it's a little hard to adapt that. Um, it was an okay game. I still prefer Star Fox 64. Hands down. What else to expect? Honestly, I don't know. Just surprise me here. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, a Mario game. Luigi's... What? The Mario and Luigi games? These were like those games for the, from the DS era, right? DS, 3DS. Or is this a brand new game? I think it's just another remaster, so let's see. It's... Wow, okay, so it's kind of like a blend of, let's say, Paper Mario. And, uh, I guess kind of like Mario 3D World, in a way. Interesting aesthetic there. Like, it's part cell shaded it's part Paper Mario, like Diorama, kind of like. And it does keep that charm and humor of the original games. I'll be honest, I've never really fully played the uh, Superstar Saga or Bowser's Inside Story, those kind of things. I've never really gotten into those versions of Mario and Luigi. I would love to, maybe, at one point. But I guess it just go I'm just too accustomed to, like, Mario RPG. That Super Nintendo game that got remade. But, hey. This is just Nintendo saying... Um... You can have your cake and eat it too. We got another Mario game in the works. We got Paper Mario. We got Mario RPG. Now we got the Mario and Luigi games. I'm not really sure if this is a remake or if this is the an original game. Brothership. Okay, this is new. I'll say this. Alvin Earthworm is going to be thrilled. <laughs> If anyone watches um, Super Mario Bros. Z, you know. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi. I thought that I, I thought this sub series was dead. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved Bros. moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. What else we got? Bring the championships home. Ah, uh, yeah, the NES um, championship series. World championship, World championship that's what it was. The Nintendo Switch system. <laughs> NES remix. Take on over 150 speed it's the same thing. NES games, from lightning fast beats to action packed battles. I mean, I love the little mini game mechanic, and it's not bad. But it's basically a rebranded version of NES Remix. Because if anyone has played it on the Wii U, you know the same mechanics. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? 
Kind of reminds me of Mario 35 in a way. I guess it's the whole time attack thing. Yes, for collectibles. Collectors uh, are going to have fun with this. Fascinating. I've heard of Fairy Tale. Never really played it that much, but... The designs are cool, though. Fairy tale in this action RPG. Set in the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish <laughs> their fight. Maybe I should check it out. Engage in real time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. Nice. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch. I got a Dragon Quest 5 out of this. Which is not a bad thing. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. What is this? From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu. Nice. Comes the turn-based RPG Fantasia. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. Fantasia. This feels like one of those mobile games. Front an evil entity threatening all mankind. Skills like, is this another one of those Final Fantasy mobile games? I mean, I can I can kind of understand. It's not the first time they do something like that. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. Okay. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Eh, Chrono Trigger has a similar mechanic. Let them go. Now, let us save the world together. Fantasia Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Okay. What else we got? Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Huh, it's getting a, an update. Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Neat. Dribble. Pass. And shoot. Let's be clear, does anyone still use the motion controls? solo and score as many baskets as you can within the time limit up to four players can also compete in five streak battle i mean it looks fun local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two on two online matches this Just... free update for nintendo switch sports dunks its way onto nintendo switch this summer just seeing this only only reminds me of NBA GM. What is this? Our style looks a little familiar. This is an indie game, isn't it? I think I've seen this in a previous trailer, probably in the Summer Game Fest. Ah, it's a roguelike, uh, Metroidvania kind of thing. Fascinating. Mio. Wow. It's an array of cartoon classics. Indies are killing it, I'll say that. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Monarch's hmm. biggest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch, uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world 
Then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free Illusion update Island is free update. Nintendo Switch later today. Okay, cool. Hello Kitty! <laughs> My sister grew up with Hello Kitty. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. That's cute. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. Okay. What else we got? Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. <laughs> really now? Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four arcade-style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across. So the, the whole Looney Tunes all start ports. But watch out for falling anvils. So it, it's not just like the the NBA Jam knockoff. Nintendo Switch this fall. Watch out. They're pretty much combining, let's say, uh, Mario Strikers, Mario Tennis, and then NBA Jam. There it is. Yeah, Among Us kind of leaked the whole thing. As much as I like Among Us, I think it's kind of ran its course. But I don't know. There's even a TV show in development for Among Us, and this is getting a little uh, out of hand. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus' army. Marvelous USA. Seeds, then cultivate and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. It's like, I'm guessing part fairy tale, part pal world? I don't know. <laughs> Looks neat though. And exploit enemy weaknesses in action packed combat. Okay. Merge all of the battle bodies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Nice. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus. Isn't that the same voice actor who uh, plays a uh, pit? The one that yelled attack? Hmm. Right here. Nice. Oh, Donkey Kong. What, they're gonna... Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. Interesting. The villainous Tiki Tap tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana horde. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country Returns is a really good game. I haven't checked out Tropical Freeze though. Found him. And roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From manic minecarts. But you sometimes wonder, like, do we have to remake every game? Can we just make a new one? And even hitching a ride on Rambi. I might have to get back on that one. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Oh, wow. I didn't even know there were bonus levels. Country Returns HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. Surprise me. Zelda? The time is nine. Oh, Dragon Quest. 
Again, going for the Octopath Traveler look, huh? Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Journey with allies. The thing about this look is that it was initially I viewed it as original. Now this HD 2D remake kind of thing, it's, it's becoming a sort of a trend. I feel like every time I see this game, I just see like, how, how can you tell them apart, you know? Because they all look the same, be it Octopath Traveler, be it this game or anything else. The two, the HD 2D concept is cool, but now it's being recycled a little too much, in my opinion. Forge your own path. The legacy. I mean, do we always have to see a diorama game? Uh, that's just me. Uh... I don't know, whatever. Just call me an old man yelling at a cloud at this point. If it works, great. Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. Well, it's Dragon Quest, so... Give it a chance. What's this? More heroes? The Edric Trilogy. Alright, alright, I see. You're cooking. Nintendo Direct to Koramirasama. Konnichiwa, Hori Yuji des. Dragon Quest 3 no Ezo. Ikaga de Staga. Yuyaku Hatsubai Biu Hatpiotikte. Boku Ureshko Mimas. Soshite, Kyo. Surprise the Hatpiosta. Dragon Quest 1 and 2 mo. The only thing I want from Dragon Quest is that slime controller. I'm not sure if I should get in, uh, into Dragon Quest. I hear it's more popular in Japan than, Dra than Final Fantasy. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick Trilogy, now in HD 2D. Let's continue with more headlines. Let's have some fun, Co. Fun Co Pops are getting their game. I, I thought these guys died out already. is coming to life in this action adventure mashup for the ages play with more than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic... are Funko Pops really still a thing at this point I thought they died out already use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds each with their own unique puzzles hidden areas and familiar foes dinosaurs from Jurassic World and Cylons from Battlestar Galactica they're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe when Funko Fusion pops onto Nintendo Switch September 13th. Okay. We've got a smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. Ready for an adventure of ghoulish proportions? Luigi's Mansion 2? Yeah, they mentioned this a while back. And explore multiple Mario! Mario! With goofy ghosts. Mario! Tricky traps. And other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now. Mamma Mia! Shop. Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Huh. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team up to catch special Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch July 22nd. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Metal slug reloaded. Oh, it's tower defense. First, we get the isometric RPGs. Now we dig this. Slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal slug attack reloaded. Storms onto the Nintendo Switch system. Later I thought the tower defense thing kind of died out. Embark on an expedition of the dam in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board oh, your stage wow. and set off across a decaying land. Oh, the art style is pretty gothic. Fight Very dark looking. In turn based combat. Your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Nice. More classic titles are on the way. Four Swords, yes! Play Link's classic 16 bit adventure. And team up online to explore randomized dungeons in the finally there's going to be a multiplayer version of this online <laughs> on the switch online finally experience the remake of zero mission adventure in Metroid zero mission plus coming to the new Nintendo 64 Nintendo switch online mature 17 plus collection of games Turok won. The dangerous lost land to stop the campaigners' <laughs> nefarious schemes. Oh, Turok, but but the, the remaster is better, isn't it? And Perfect dark. There it is. I mean, it was inevitable. To end their alien conspiracy in Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. Might be a little controversial. Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. I had a feeling they were going to mention Perfect Dark. Set sail to save the day. I mean, I'm guessing the port's going to be just as controversial as the GoldenEye port. I don't know. A young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. In this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. I'm guessing that was Christina V. Doing the voice of Morona. Tactical turn-based battles. Where you'll combine the phantoms you've befriended with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Alright, cute. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Okay, what else we got? This one's gonna take oh, 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 oh shit! Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men. Wow. Duke it out in Marvel versus no fucking way. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. I never would have expected to see Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the Switch! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> This one is huge! That surprised me! <laughs> Another Mario Party. Okay. 
ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party mini games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. Okay. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. Nice. Back fast. Ride around and roll them raceway. In roll them raceway. With the new turbo dice island, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Okay, you're turning Mario Kart into a board game at this point. The ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games, nice. and their return. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy Con controllers. Okay. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Wow. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. That's going to be tricky. To come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. Yeah, this game is huge. The Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. I'm sorry, I still can't get over the fact that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is on the Switch now. In the Mario Party series. Super Mario Party Jamboree with new boards, mini games, 20 player online gameplay, and more. Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this Metroid Prime. Zelda. It's ages and seasons. They're getting a remaster. Oh my god. Ages and Seasons is getting a Link's Awakening remaster. Or is this a new game? Oh, wow. Echoes of Wisdom. What? Hello, everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? This is Zelda's game? I wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Zelda's now a playable character for real? Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri-Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. Oh, so this is Zelda's answer to Pr Princess Peach Showtime. At a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an Echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. Okay. 
you can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find. Where does this fit in the canon, though? You might be surprised at what you discover. It's super adorable, though. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, okay. they fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key. So a Zelda game without Link. This is going to cause even more confusion. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. Like, finally! Let her do something. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda. Uh, I don't know if I can afford it. Available at launch. I want to, but I don't think I'll be able to. In this new adventure. Now, I'll try it out eventually. Turn this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. I was not expecting that. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. It's part of the canon. <laughs> Let's see a few more headlines. Let loose and party on. Uh, yeah, no. Mute. Mute. I'm sorry. It's just dance. I'm not going to risk it. Screw you. I'm not going to put copyrighted music in this thing. I'm not going to waste my time. It's like, no thanks. No thanks. I don't want to risk it. Piss off. Because this is just going to get claimed by, by YouTube's copyright bots. No thanks. Even Green Day, cool. Whatever. Horizon. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. Climb up onto tall necks and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. A little skeptical about the background music, but I hope Use it's an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity hmm. bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watchers to mighty sawtooth, you might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you play, what games look fascinating? Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. Lego Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Okay. A Stray's journey begins. So Stray's getting ported. I'm, I've heard of this game. Oh no. 
experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B-12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Okay. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Welcome home, Hobbit. If a Hobbit game? Wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings. Now, a Tales of the Shire. Nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore, garden, fish, forage, and... So it's a very chill version of Animal Crossing, but with Lord of the Rings. ...hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique... I mean, it, it has that uh, that laid-back feel like Animal Crossing, that's what I meant to say. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces... Fireworks Gandalf! ...when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Wow. Investigate. Oh, oh wow. Checkmate. Are you telling me this game finally? Oh my god! Oh my god! As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, the second one is finally getting ported. I played the first in Ace Attorney Investigations. Finally, the second one gets ported. All new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer, or swap to the original sprites for nice. a classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery, where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Ace Attorney Investigations on the DS. Very fun spin-off. If you're interested in like those, uh, if you're interested in Ace Attorney, this is a really good one. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Finally, the game after like what, 10, 12 years, the second one was imported for whatever reason. She's cute. Devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. An huh. academy shrouded in secrecy and the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this hundred day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? The creators of Dongan Rampa present the Hundred Line Last Defense Academy, launching on Nintendo Switch. And it Fascinating. Embark on a saga spanning generations. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Nice. See, when I think of remakes, I think of something like this. Open world, gorgeous visuals, anime aesthetic. Not the diorama stuff like from the Octopath Traveler thing, you know? 
features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Wow. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. Nice. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2, Revenge of the Seven. Amazing. On Nintendo Switch, October 24th. Amazing. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Where's Prime 4? Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. They've got to mention something about Metroid Prime 4. Cosmic Year 20X9. Galactic Federation Research Facility! Could this be? Oh my god! Hello, Samus. Metroid's back in business. Yes. Samus, baby, it's your time to shine. This is Prime 4. I don't think I've seen anything like this in Prime 1 or 2, or, or 3 for that matter. This is Prime 4. <laughs> Holy shit! Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Let's go. This is a throwback to the first game. It's gonna be for next year. Wow, seven years in the making. A first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025, so please wait a little bit longer. That's fine, as long as we have something. Samus Aran's new adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. They had to save the best for last. That was amazing. That was amazing. I was not really expecting to see another Zelda game too. Like, Echoes of Wisdom? Like, at first glance, you'd expect it to be like a, a remake of Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons with the, the Link's Awakening diorama stuff. But, man, they, they're taking this a whole different direction. And now it's Zelda's story. Not Link's, not Link. Zelda has taken over the adventure. Oh, this is going to be a little fascinating. I'm also kind of surprised, again, uh, surprised over the Marvel vs. Capcom announcement being that being part of that arcade collection. That was cool. Uh, Mario and Luigi apparently getting a new game, like the, from the Superstar Saga onwards, Bowser's Insight story, and all the other stuff. Wow. The rest was just kind of like extra padding and filler but overall it was a solid direct so hats off to them and i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like share subscribe leave a comment and help support the channel as best as, best as you can all right so until next time take care see you soon Bye bye